Hi, I'm Scout Forsyth. I'm a professional ballet dancer with American Ballet Theater, and this is everything I eat in a rehearsal day. Look at how pretty the sky is right now. I'm home self-quarantining in California right now with my family, and I am trying to get back into shape right now. So this is everything I'd eat in a normal rehearsal day in New York, which would be about six to seven hour days. I'm typically up around 6.37. I'm, I'm an early riser and I really like it. And after just waking up and doing that first like big yawn stretch, I kind of slowly make my way up and drink as much water as I possibly can. I'm gonna drink this whole thing. I always try to hit at least a liter of water a day. If not that, I try to go for three. Anywhere between that, I know I'm feeling good, but anything less than that is when I'm like, I need water. Do you ever have to pee and then drink more water before you have to pee? I don't know why I do that, but I do. <sighs> All right, my day's set up because I'm already hydrated. It's around 7.20 before the time I actually fully kind of wake up and get out of bed, put my feet on the ground, and that's usually about the time I head down and make breakfast. Go-to breakfast for a full rehearsal day is avocado toast. I love it, not too filling, but gives me enough energy to kind of like sustain myself throughout the first class that I take in the morning. So I'll grab all my ingredients, you know, pull them out of the fridge, get everything set up, uh, cause I like to have my breakfast hot. I'm one of those people that like, I want to cook and make everything and have it all at the right time and put it straight in my mouth. So start with um, Ezekiel bread, sourdough. Ezekiel's a little bit more full of like grains. It's not just like a white bread where there's no um, kind of nutrients in it. Throw that guy in the toaster, get the water boiling. Probably would help if I turned on that. My neighbors gave me um, one of their chicken's eggs because uh, ours don't lay anymore because they're, they're elderly ladies. I only use one half of the avocado for breakfast. I take that, slice it up, scoop it out of there, take the toast out, scoop it, slab it on my piece of bread, and I take a fork and just kind of spread it that way because I like the little texture. By this time, my egg is done. I'm gonna try to flip this guy. Yes! I did it! I didn't break the yolk! <laughs> <laughs> this is so good, you guys. I'm so excited. Scoop it out, put it on top, pepper some nutritional yeast sometimes, and if I'm feeling a little fancy, I'll toss a little cayenne pepper on there and a little salt. So once my breakfast is all prepared and ready to go, I bring it over to my kitchen table. That's when you know it's a good poached egg. Oh yeah, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Right now I'm trying to limit my coffee intake and I've noticed a better effect on my energy levels throughout the day. And this is me not on coffee, so. <sighs> Since I stopped drinking coffee, it's been more tea lately, but sometimes it'll just be water depending on my laziness of heating water up or not. <laughs> I always have my journal with me in the morning and I just love writing in my journal, kind of setting my intentions for the day, releasing whatever negative energy I had yesterday. Mm. I like to start my day with sweets when I'm doing rehearsals because I get so hyper from sugar. So if I have that morning, like when I'm walking to work where I'm like up here, by the time I'm getting to ballet class, my level, my energy levels already starting to do that crash. I start yawning. I just, I kind of like space out and come back in. If I'm not fully in my body focused on what I'm doing, it can be a risk or a foreshadow for maybe stepping on my point shoe wrong, not thinking of something, twisting an ankle. So I know for me and my body, I need to have something savory, protein filled, good fats, all that stuff to kind of help sustain my energy levels through the day and not have this spike. I'm gonna get ready to go to the studio. Okay, I'll just grab my bag, throw on my shoes, and head out to the ballet studio. It's probably around 9, 15, 9, 30 ish. Change into my ballet gear and get ready for class that starts at 10, 15 and goes till 11, 45. Our days at ABT are usually split into two chunks. Our morning class is just about like warming your body up and preparing you for a full day of rehearsals. Thank you. 
after class, we have about a 20 minute break and that's uh, rehydration and usually snacking on whatever fruit I brought that day. Honeycrisp are the best apples. You can't argue with me on that. I try to go with a whole fruit or a whole food before grabbing a processed thing. But you know what? Sometimes I don't have a banana and a granola bar is right there. So um, I tried to avoid it, but if it's there and I need it, I'm gonna eat it. At ABT, our lunch break isn't until three to four. So we've got from, I wake up at 6.30 to three o'clock. Like I have to have enough stuff sustaining me. All right, so while I'm finishing this guy, um, where's my water ball? My calf was cramping already this morning. Um, so I am really gonna be hyper aware of the electrolytes I get today. I also brought a little Tupperware of um, Celtic sea salt that I bring to the studios. I learned not too long ago that putting a little bit of uh, that in your water is helps with the minerals that we need to kind of help digest and hydrate. And it's full of electrolytes. It's a really healthy alternative from a Gatorade or any kind of sugary energy drink. I'm not a big fan of those at all. Break's almost over. I'm gonna start rehearsing soon and throwing those point shoes, so I gotta get going. We rehearse in kind of hour increments, so 12.05 to 1, 105 to 2, 205 to 3. That's how our day is set up. And this is definitely where we're using the most energy. I'm obviously not in New York at my ABT's ballet studios right now. So after class, I'm taking that time to work on technique, work on a variation that I want to learn, or just starting to kind of get my strength back in order to like be ready to go back and hopefully be on stage soon. Three o'clock rolls around and now we're back on break from three to four is our lunch break. And I try to eat my food immediately so I have enough time to rest and digest and not go back in at 4.05 feeling like, oh, I just ate so much food. If I have time on Monday, I try to meal prep. Right now it's been a veggie soup because it's cold outside. I stole the recipe from my mom. Super nutritious and delicious. This soup is packed with veggies. It's got carrots, tomatoes, celery, kale, onions, garlic. I wish you guys could smell this right now because it smells delicious. So I throw all those veggies in and then the broth is uh, always vegetable based. Sometimes I'll put a grain in there at the bottom. I love farro down at the bottom, but sometimes it's a little too much like wheat throughout the day for me. I try to heat it up at my house first because at the studio they only have a microwave and I'm very anti-microwave. They scare me and I've never grown up with one so I don't use it that much. <laughs> I love this soup. So I've got enough um, like complex carbs, not simple things. Like everything is very hearty and nutritious in the soup. I think of food as fuel and what is going to sustain me for the rest of my rehearsal period. Also maybe throw a cookie in there because it tastes good. <laughs> I'm so glad I brought my lunch with me. The reason I love bringing like something simple like a soup or a salad, it's easier on my stomach. I don't feel like I'm going into the next rehearsal like with a big bloated belly and being like, I just want to chill and just go and take a nap. If I don't meal prep and bring like a soup or something in from home, there's a make your own salad place right around the corner. There's a little, what is it called, prêt de manger. You can just go in and get really simple stuff. We're entering this last half of the day and from four to seven o'clock, we're rehearsing again. Um, the first hour I've noticed that we will either have half hour specialty rehearsals where we're rehearsing a small group for one small ballet or we'll be learning choreography, which is always really fun, but you gotta be like very focused in on it. Put those guys in there. <laughs> I brought myself a little snack. Oh man, the best. Sometimes when we're going through those long rehearsal periods, like from four to seven, and, or I'm dancing a lot, or I just need something, it's good to have a little backup snack. The hit peas are pretty filling because they're, you know, they're puffy. So just a couple of those, I'm like, okay, I've got some like good fuel in me. Especially if you do get more hungry or you're, we're dancing a lot, like it's better to focus on dancing and not the, I'm hungry. <laughs> 
the best like puffy crunchiness that I just absolutely love. I might eat all these. <laughs> 7 o'clock rolls around, I'm tired, I'm sweaty, I'm ready to like go home and rest. When I get home, I'm hungry and I just want something quick and easy, so I'll grab leftovers or order something. But most of the times, I really try to cook myself like an easy, simple meal that I can just get in my body and go. At night, I opt for something that's a little bit more protein heavy. I want to like refuel my body for tomorrow. That's going to be another day, whole day of dancing. So I kind of go for something that's like beefier, something that's a little bit more hearty and kind of sits heavier in my body and makes me want to just like curl up and go to bed. So tonight I spoiled myself a little bit and I got a piece of salmon, some veggies, and I'm going to make myself like a little side salad as well. First things first, cut up all my veggies that I've got in the fridge. Oh, there's a little baby one in there. This is kind of like whatever's in there. Oh, I'm crying. I grab it, pour a little oil on it, some salt and pepper, put it on a baking sheet, stick it in the oven. I'm not a professional chef at all, so I just kind of go with what the internet has told me in the past. <laughs> Not every night I'm able to cook for myself. Sometimes I didn't get groceries or um, I'm just straight up lazy and don't want to do dishes. So I'll grab a meal to bring home with me and like my go-tos are bean rice avocado burrito, a veggie pizza or Thai food. I love a good pad thai. I throw the salmon on the pan, not a lot of spices and stuff. The salmon's cooking, I've made a mess. He says that the oven needs to be up higher. So we're gonna turn the oven up a little bit higher. When the salmon's kind of towards the end of its cooking time, I, I pour just like a little bit of the teriyaki glaze from Trader Joe's. It's just, I think it's yummy. It adds a little extra flavor and a nice little glaze on top of it. Salmon's going, uh, veggies are going, and this is when I just have enough time to like throw a little salad together. And I always try to get like a full head of lettuce or leaves because I just think it's a little bit more ecologically friendly than just a bucket of like mixed veggies and plastic. Chop it all up, throw it in a little bowl, and then mix it with whatever sauce I have. When I'm in New York, sometimes it's just something as simple as olive oil and vinegar. Voila! Oh, that looks really good. I get this guy all plated, and this is when I take my lovely little plate of food over to the table, and I scarf it down. And then this is when I add my sauces. I am so happy New York started carrying bitchin' sauce. It is delicious, it's made from almonds. I just love the flavor of it, so I drizzle a little bit of that on my plate, so and that's usually like my little veggies, I dip it in there. I almost forgot, it's not a proper meal unless you have an avocado in there, so grab whatever you have left over and scoop it on those veggies. Now that's a complete meal. Mm. My roommate and I will just throw on maybe TV while we're eating dinner, hanging out, or I like play, on, play some music. A lot of times I'm talking on the phone with my family or friends or people I just want to catch up with. I just like getting home, having a simple meal and a a nice afternoon and sometimes I'll spoil myself and get a little like a kombucha drink or something. I'm not a big drinker especially during the weeks uh, when I'm dancing. It's fun to go out on the weekends sometimes, you know what I'm saying? During the weeks just makes me feel kind of icky. Um, so kombucha is like my little go-to, little after dancing treat. It's bubbly and it just tastes good. Mm. So after dinner, I do the dishes. I'm not a big dessert person. If I am gonna have a dessert, I'd rather it be like a fruit-based dessert where it's like a chocolate covered strawberry or apples and caramel. But you know, occasionally I want a donut. This is when like I need to stretch and roll out. Rolling out the body helps flush the lactic acid out of my muscles so I'm not as sore the next day. I'll probably be a little sore, but I'm not as sore the next day. I try to get like, done before 8, 30. The only other thing that's gonna be going in my body is water. That's all I need before bed. I can't be too hyper before bed. <laughs> By consuming a well-balanced, somewhat <laughs> decently healthy diet, um, it helps with my dancing so much. I feel like I'm strong out there. And for me personally, I would rather see a woman that is strong and handle herself, confident, out there instead of somebody who looks like they're about to faint on stage. Now I'm in a space where I'm like, I can consume what I want. I know what fuels me, gives me energy, sustains me throughout the day. And I always try to choose that 
but sometimes it's like I just want that burrito and they're like I want that donut and that's okay like I think that's my biggest thing is giving up the fight it's it shouldn't be a struggle food should be yummy and get, make you smile fuel you up make you feel good my advice though is always consult with your health practitioner or team um, to help you and choose what works for you. And this is what I have created over years and years of trial and error. And that's it. And this is everything I eat in a normal rehearsal day. And thank you so much for watching.